previously on Ultimate Team. Tyreek, Tyreek Hill, no! So, I'm going to make this pretty brief. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this series, make sure to drop a like down below. If 1,500 likes, these come out every single time. If you're new, every single time I win a game, I get to buy a bundle, make my team better. We're trying to get to the Super Bowl. Big additions, two new 90 overall receivers. You can see I have Julian Edelman and Adam Thielen now in the lineup. I kind of broke the bank a little bit on Adam, and then Julian Edelman's one of the cheaper guys, but I figured in the slot, he's going to be really, really good. He's a sure-handed guy who runs really, really good routes. Other than that, the team's going to stay pretty much the same. Derek Henry, Michael Vick, Andy um, right there. Backup running back, that's definitely a position I'm getting kind of bored of, Todd Gurley. I decided to give Dwight Clark the start over there um, because he does have really, really good speed. He might be a legend. He's not my favorite. He doesn't have the most swag, but I do quite like that dude. Um, let me go show you guys quickly where we are in the season. What are, why am I going, what am I clicking mutt squads for? I'm not trying to click mutt squads. We're not playing mutt squads. We're playing seasons. We're, we're a solo act here. Okay, got to go on seasons. Uh, I'm trying to think because we lost yesterday, which was disgusting. Didn't get to open any packs. Team really did not get that much better, which was frustrating. If you look at today, we are currently 4-2. and two. We need three more wins for a playoff berth. Let's go and make it happen. Okay, second down and eight here. I actually had my TV blaring in the background, which is why I had to cut out the first play. Uh, what I kind of said in that one was even though I have two kind of new studly cool receivers, it doesn't mean I have to be relying on them. I, I have established and I have had success in my first month season with running the ball. Running the ball has been absolutely huge for me. I don't want to change that. I want to keep that consistent and just hopefully we can continue to have success with that. But this way on third down in these situations, I have people to pass to if I feel like I need to, like, need to. Like right now, I feel like I could probably pass it over, but I just, I'm so confident in Derrick Henry that like the dude just goes off for big runs. It's stupid. They can't stop him. It's something about that like scheme that I'm doing that is just like unbelievable. I don't know what it is about it, but I know we're going to score a lot of points when we have Derrick Henry on the field. And there's no point to do a ton of passing because even last game, we we're playing against a guy way better than us, had a better team than us, and we dropped 28 points on them, where Vic didn't even have a good performance. And we had one of our best receivers had three drops. So like running the ball is definitely the thing I do best. That was a bad kick though. I don't, don't even look at the kick. Don't look, okay, no, we're good. Okay, so look at my team and he's got Tom Brady, Clark, that's the 93 Irvin over there. So he's got a pretty good squad. Uh, looks like he's gonna be trying to run the ball as well. One of the things I pride myself on, oh my gosh, Derek Henry. Speechless. Completely speechless. You can see it on my face. I have nothing to say to that. That is just what he does, I guess, for both sides of the ball. Nice pick. Nice pick, Singletary. Yo, beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. I did nothing. Those are the best interceptions, though. Like, literally, we had good defense behind. I didn't even have to move and, or do anything. And the ball is like, I didn't even have to use that. That just ended up in his hands, which is awesome. Let's go score again. I'm going to get my Derrick Henry moving. Maybe a 300 yard game. We'll see. But I want to obviously get Julian Edelman and like in company, Adam Thielen, those type of guys making some big plays too. Yo, I want Greg Olson helping seal that edge. We obviously have Michael Vick, who is a complete and total force. Why on earth did I throw that? That is just overconfidence. I don't even know what made me throw that ball. I really, really don't. I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. That's not like me. I, I honestly, I don't even remember the last time I threw a pick like that where it was just blatantly stupid okay so i've noticed in this game this dude's very very run happy as well uh very very similar to me in the fact that he likes to run the ball with literally the exact same running back too good job i picked the wrong guy oh man that was kind of a 50 50 play though i was i was in a spot in the middle where i had to commit to one of them both of them like got beat by the wide receiver so i kind of had to commit man defense let's just bring everybody to the outside i'm guessing this is going to derrick henry on the outside hopefully we can stuff this out but i think it's gonna be seven seven am i super worried about this dude no is he pretty decent yes though like i don't think he's gonna just make this easy on me whatsoever he's running down the clock for some reason. like don't ask me why he's running down the clock already i'm gonna get the ball back already if anything he'd want to not run down the clock okay good stop got him got him please throw it here please throw it here no nice play nice play i sent the host he got a touchdown we got to go score again. I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about his defense. I made one bad throw. It doesn't define me. I, 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 in my opinion, this is still my game to lose. Go, 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 let's go, baby. 
Woods into the house, my friend. Take it, please. No, no, no. 87, don't catch me. Don't catch me. Dive into the end zone. That's my first ever kick return for a touchdown. Beautiful. We got some nice little holes to the middle. We did a little bit of zig, a little bit of zag. Uh, we got the touchdown right back. That's absolutely huge because, like I've said a few times, his offense does not scare. I can't kick field goals, uh, which is probably going to cost me this whole game in general, which means we won't open a pack. Whatever, we got the kick return for touchdown. I'm not super worried about his offense. I think I'm a few good adjustments from being able to stop him. So the fact that we got that is massive because I might be able to get another stop and another touchdown, which would put me in an amazing position. Okay, so I'm legit a little bit stuck here. He just crossed midfield. He's going into the five wide formation now. I expect a lot of the same kind of stuff you're doing. A lot of people crossing the field. Just waiting for that one guy to get open. That's Eric Berry. One of my best pickups so far. Made a nice little play there. Okay, good stuff. Let's send some pressure on him. I've tried to send pressure on him throughout this game. And it hasn't really got there. But a lot of his stuff relies on him taking a lot of time in the pocket. I'm going to hit him with a zone. Eric Berry. Fake blitz. Get him inside. No, hit the hit stick. Boom. There we go. Sean Smith. 8 for 11 for 68 though. He's having a pretty good game. He's about to get under smoke where two corners blitz, but then these guys take his place. So my linebackers and D linemen are all going to take his place, but it makes it look like there's a blitz. It's just a little bit of a trick misconception. Beautiful. Get on Tom Brady. Call a timeout. 37 yard line. He's going for it. Um, I'm going to do what I did there. I'm going to get people back. I feel like there's a chance that the dude may be rushing it. Uh, I really don't know. At this point, there's a chance that he might try and hit me with a power with Derrick Henry, which I don't think would be a bad idea based on the success that he's had. Uh, but this also could be a C route. Get over there. Get over there. No. Three guys, including me being the Mac, were trying to get over there, and he somehow got that through. Yo, get out there, McGinnis. Get out there, McGinnis. Good pressure. Hit him again. Okay. Is that, I believe this is third now. Third down and goal. Okay, well, there's a chance we can hold him to a field goal. We need to stop here, though. I give him a very similar defense to what he's seen a few times in the red zone. Like just, I'm going to make it look like everyone's coming and then everyone's going to drop back. Beautiful. Good job. Punt the ball. You're not going to get lucky on fourth down twice. Punt the ball. Punt. Did I say punt? I meant to say field goal. That's totally my bad. Totally my bad. I was thinking like punt the ball. And then I thought about that. I was like, that would be really dumb to punt on the two yard line. That would, that would make zero sense. Okay, so two minutes, he's making a terrible, terrible mistake. The, the guy is going with just a straight quarters three deep. And I don't think he quite realizes how much time I have. I'm going to get the ball to Adam Thielen. Get him moving. Get him some touches. I do have zero timeouts, though. Which is why, actually, he's smart. He, he's not dumb. I don't know why I said he was dumb. He is pretty smart. I did not realize. I'm the dumb one who didn't realize he, had, he didn't have any timeouts. Okay, let's see. Step up into the pocket. Get away from these guys. Get away from these guys, and we want to go to Thielen on the other side. Or that's Clark. Get up there. No. Okay, 13 seconds. Now I get to call a play that will actually get me out of bounds. That would have been so sick. But even if we caught that, like, I wasn't really thinking when I threw that. Because best case scenario, I catch that ball. Nothing really that good happens. It's, it's The quarter is going to end either way. I got Olsen in the slot. Clark right now. I'm looking for Greg Olsen on, like, a 10 up that does not waste too much time whatsoever and that's a missed throw by Vic okay now we're just going deep whatever just just throw it deep the route that I like assuming good blocking is Adam Thielen I, I feel like Adam Thielen has a chance to make a crazy play on the outside I still got one second left okay keep th keep chucking it yo zones to inside 100% I'm user in McGinnis we should have enough people on the inside to guard these dudes um, I'm assuming over the middle beautiful nice tip Corners is definitely the next big thing that I need to work on. Uh, my corners probably aren't where they need to be. Um, just because of the fact they're all like 85, 86. So against like 93 overall receivers, they're going to get burned. But overall on that play, he stepped up. I think this guy's going to go for it though. Based on the situation, yeah, he's going for it. He is primed and he is going for it. Okay, let's, let's play some defense. I'm only going to send one guy. I want to make him think about this um, to the point of like he, where he has to think almost too much. Beautiful, beautiful Steve Atwater. Don't try and throw seams, my friend. Don't try and throw seams. I'm about to spin move. One, beautiful. Okay, let's go score and go tell Mama we had a good game. Score, go up by 10 and everything should be fine. Okay, I got two pulling. I got one guy pulling here. And with some patience, this can be one of the best runs in the game. With some patience, beautiful. 
huge yards once again six rushes 98 yards you won't find a better run game you will not find a better run game than what we got going with derrick henry okay at this stage of the game you know what sometimes you just gotta win or lose by your top overall player i'm still gonna send it baby i'm still gonna send it no point half okay you guys silly i'm still gonna send it i think i'm gonna take the field goal here uh field goal doesn't do me much but it does give me up by more then a field goal. Yeah, I'm going to go field goal. I should have a chance no matter what to be able to touch the ball again. But if he goes down and scores a touchdown, it's over. So that's the only reason that I'm like 50-50 because I'd almost... It's on the six. Yeah, let's, let's take the field goal. Let's, let's count on our defense to go get us a stop. Okay, third down and two. He hasn't had a ton of success with passing on these first two. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went to a run. Beautiful, let's go. Sean Smith, go. Get upfield. Get upfield. That's such a huge pick. You just got us some packs, Sean Smith. I think he just got us some packs. We locked him up perfectly. I don't know if this guy's going to stick around. Uh, I'm going to keep the game exactly how I did it the whole time. I'm just going to keep on running. Sorry, guys. I'm here to win games. Uh, you might not like it, but, like, seriously, like, if the run is working and it's won me a fair amount, like, the only times it's lost me. In every single game, my offense has performed better than my defense. Uh, you just got to run the rock. Not a lot of people like doing it, but sometimes you just got to sit down, put your head down, and give the ball to Derrick Henry, who just happens to be my best player. Oh, boom, boom, boom. In for the touchdown. That's gonna, oh, that's a late hit. Uh, that is a, I don't care who you are that's late. This is the bunch formation. Uh, I've been labbing it a little bit. I'm not quite ready to bring it. I'm trying to get it to the point where it's like my number one formation where I run all of my plays out of. So I'm working on making it that because I really, really like the bunch formation. It's just, it's such a good one. And I find in this year's game, it's actually pretty decent. You have an isolated guy on the one side. Julian Edelman right there. Uh, I'm just going to try and go to Clark over the middle. Can't quite hold on to it. Still up by 12, but let's go get one more stop. Look around. He's always got someone going over the middle that's open. Haley, give me that. Good game, boys. It's time. If he lets me play this out, I'm going to pass. I, I know I I've ran it. No, he's gone. See you, my friend. Don't even look. 15, like literally, I just won a game with 15 yards passing. And I'm not even mad about it. It's part of the reason. Part of the reason that I'm cool. With the fact that I won a game only throwing for 15 yards, which is super weird. It's because a lot of people have the misconception you have to pass. Passing equals success. Well, the guy I just played passed for 250 yards and he lost and he actually rage quit. So it doesn't always equal that. It's a field position game. You got to get field position. You got to have low turnovers, which I actually had one really dumb turnover. I'm opening up an 11 team of the week pack uh, bundle. So I have my top week, team of the week, week 13 topper and 13 of these or 11 of these. I'm not 100% sure exactly. Uh, of these packs. I think there's gonna be a lot of golds. Boom. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we get three It's gonna be a lot of that. I think I've heard a lot of complaints about the team of the week packs Like I'm not expecting anything Completely like amazing in these to be honest. I think it's kind of oh 83 Xavier Howard That's not too bad I'll definitely be able to salvage him and sell him But there's a lot of like 70 overall team of the week players Which I don't really like 79 overall and 77 so when it says it guarantees two team of the week players You're probably not getting anyone worth any value oh 85 beautiful that's actually a good one von bell team week that might go for something he actually might go in my lineup because i could use a safety all of these guys 84 overall tavon beautiful okay that's so that's two safeties that we've got have been our best pulls i imagine they go for just because it is team of the week right now i imagine they go for a decent chunk nothing in that one this is going to be an interesting pack opening don't know if i'm going to be super impressed by it i don't know how much better our team's going to get but we might get more coins to be able to purchase more players based on how many of these guys, how much these guys go for. 82 overall, Mike Wallace, 79 overall and 79 overall. That's probably like a 6,000 um, coin pack, I would say. I don't think that one's gonna be worth a ton by any means. We get a LaShawn Sims of the Tennessee Titans. That's sick, cause it's the Titans. It's not sick, cause it's a 78 overall and I will never use him whatsoever, 77. Yo, these are trash, man. You're killing me. You are really, Killing me. Last pack for the topper. We're getting 83 and a 74. Uh, and then we have our topper, which pretty sure this guarantees me something pretty cool. Reward pack. What does this mean? Offense and defense. I have to choose between offense and defense. This is disgusting. Don't make me do this. Do I want an offense player? I'm going offense. Let's do it. Offensive elite. It might be a zero. It might be like the highest lead possible. And it's an 87 Josh McCown. Not that great. Uh, definitely not someone I'm going to use. We'll see how much he goes for, though. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually quickly look this up just while we're on screen, screen uh, just before we end the video, just to see how much the team of the weeks that I got are actually worth. So if we go to our newest pulls, that we have our newest is this Josh McCown, 87 overall. But actually, he's gonna go for about 30,000, which for a topper on a pretty cheap bundle, really isn't too shabby whatsoever. 30,000, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, the other pulls that we had were this Mike Wallace. I know that doesn't go for anything. Um, 84 Tavon Williams. Let's see what's he gonna go for. About just like kind of what I said, uh, about 9,000. So so far, including we have about 30, about 40,000 worth of pulls. If we go, we got this one. Vaughn Bell might be worth a lot more, depending. He's gonna go for about 13,000. So we have about 53,000 worth of coins out of this bundle. Let's see. And then we have all these guys who are gonna sell for at least a decent chunk of change. It's not gonna be anything impressive. Uh, but like Xavier Howard, I don't think he'll be crazy, but he'll be, yeah, and around like the sixth out. So it was a pretty bad pack opening. Can't say it's gonna make my team a lot better, but I'm gonna go sell these dudes. Uh, I do have 500 um, points left. So we may be able to get one more pack of something. I'm not 100% sure how much these go for. Exactly 500. So we might as well buy one more. Go go all in on one last pack with our points. See if we can get anything. 77 and we get 76. I'll see you guys in the next video.